Generic greetings and welcome back once again to a chill session on Kingdoms and Castles where in the previous episode we continued on expanding, we got some more housing, we upgraded all of the roads to the stone road to increase the speed in which our people travel, we then also got a butcher and some swine herds up here which is increasing our food and you know somewhat importantly increasing our health, we however did run out of space in the graveyard although that has sort of been fixed by just the, the graves, uh, I think there's a natural decay level on that one and we can reuse but we are planning on putting in a fairly big graveyard over on this side so we'll just have to see as always how we get on this episode i want to continue on with the expansion of the housing but we want to put in things like a market another town square fountain and just improve this area but i guess before any of that i'm going to place some ballista towers and i'm going to place them pretty much all the way around uh, the outside here because when we had the dragon attack they were pretty much able to get into the center without any great issue also and I believe someone commented uh, a while ago about placing one in the center here because that is obviously then uh, got a good area around the middle which is pretty good that's what we want so yeah it means if anyone the dragons come in the center we can take those out so pretty good in terms of resources we're doing quite well stone being the primary bottleneck there but that's just always the case let me go up to uh, advanced and remove that rock there we have lots of wood but we've to be fair, I have removed a lot of forest recently. Stone is okay. Charcoal is trending okay. We have minus 171 change from last year. That's from the food. So we'll have to see how we get on with that one. I don't know why we have got a negative, but I'll check that out in a moment. We have no real change from the iron because we haven't done anything with that. We have nice tooling, but it's minus 15 because obviously we've got the butchers in there now. And almonds hasn't changed because we've not spent any really although are we are making some no plus zero change if we check i think one of them was producing one of them yeah one of them was producing them but you know they're just not working yet although is this full it is not full so yeah it's actually it's all right anyway let's uh, continue on and see how we are oh you're starting ready to use one so are they working then they they are working yeah the furnaces seem to be on Hmm, because they then take it over to here. We could recruit some more archers, but I don't think it's necessary. Although, I think, yeah, maybe because we've got people idle, we might as well go ahead and recruit those. So, over to here, that's been removed. We're going to put in these, well, we've got these houses in there. I want to have the road come across... And then this way, there's that being removed. So in order to come across, we'll need to place a pier. It'll come across here and then along this way. And that'll that'll sort of really inform the building of the rest of it. Because I want to have like a town square around here. So that'll come there. And then one, two. And then it'll come down there. One, two. One, two. And then that. And then that will have to go around there because that's going to be our market. Yeah. And then a fountain can go in there. Yeah. That'll work. That'll work. That's pretty much what I was after. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes when I was, I was uh, scratching my head on how to, how to complete this. But I think this is the better way of doing it. Sometimes we just walk away and come back to it. It, it just comes more na naturally than try and force the idea. So we'll have a market in the centre there. We'll randomly rotate it because we can. And there we go. We'll crack on with that. There's also some fish over here. We might want to get another fishing hut in. Where would a fishing hut go? Well, we'd go in here, wouldn't it? Could we place that? Yes. Should we place that? Possibly. Yeah, we'll place one in. Why not? Place one in there in that corner. Obviously, we've got this space here as well. There's the odd little space here and there. Not really going to stress over too much on the exact placement of things we have people dying from old age because i mean it is yeah one f what was it 140 uh what knock 125 126 let's see what the advisors say it took too long to store the harvest i think we just have to accept that we're going to get that message all the time i don't know what else i can do to increase the speed of storage in that one first of so much wood there's no place to put it that's not a great problem um, and say so Viking Raiders are attacking. Okay, fine. 
How long have we got on this one? Three years for improved construction techniques. Fine. And this is like our sea side bit of the town here. I mean, to be fair, this is. Although, might look very good now. Um, yeah, hopefully we don't get a really big rain and this, the banks burst. You know, and I don't think the climate change DLC is in the game yet for the rising sea level. <laughs> uh, yeah, 128 it is. Yeah, 128. Cool. Alright, that's now built on that side so we can place that stone road in there. This is... will benefit from placing in a nice fountain. I was going to place a large fountain, but a, a small fountain would be sufficient like that. And obviously we're going to have housing along here. And I may even put a tavern in this part as well because we're almost certainly going to need it. So you know what? I'm just going to head and I'm just going to go ahead and put it in now. A tavern. So we'll place the tavern in there. We'll have the road that goes along like so. And then that goes to there. And then we'll be able to put a manor house or something in there. Whatever, whatever we require. Speaking of manor houses, let's go ahead and place one there. And... One in there, and the front's overlooking this side. Don't know what to do with the, re this, the rest of this one, but we'll, we'll have to see. There's a nice little market. We should probably put in a well, actually, now that I think of it, because there's not much, there's not ready access to water, even though we've got a fountain. So, it's not, actually, it's not as bad as I thought. A well can go in there. We've already got a spell, we've got space for a well in here. So, we'll put one in there, and I think, even though the hospital's just there, do you want a clinic or do you want a library? They have access to the Great Library, to a library, so maybe a clinic on this side. There, there you go. Can't really have too many on that front. We've got the Viking attacks shortly, in the next year or so. I'll have to see how that one goes. There is no other defences that we can research. The only other thing we can research after this is speed boost to our sailing vessel. And it says a significant boost to that. Yeah, we'll have to see. Obviously the witch is down the bottom there, but we've never talked to them. In terms of food, once again, minus 143. Wow, okay. That's concerning. Why do we have that? Farmers and orchardists are at the top, and windmill workers. Let's see what our let's see what our food storage is here. That might be a, a bigger priority. To be fair, we have got you know more people, over a hundred more, I believe. So they're storing that harvest. A lot of this harvest down here, though, as you can see, is getting wasted. Do people work in these? Yeah, all the workers are there. Yeah, farmers bring wheat there though. It's the farmers that take the take the wheat. I mean, most of it's getting picked up. There's very little waste here. There's some waste. I reckon we'll lose some of this harvest, but no, yeah, it's all picked up apart from that one bit there, which is going to get picked up now. So, is it just we don't have enough? It could be something as simple as that. Either way, um, if it is, the way to fix the problem is to place in a windmill there, and then a set of farms all the way around the outside, like so. I will then extend the road down to there. I'll sort of counterintuitively delete that, because I want to have a pier one two it's going to be two uh, three extra bits of pier but we'll do that when the vikings have finished attacking so they are looks to be oh it looks like they're all coming down from the south here okay so i'm going to get our archers which we still only have the three of one of them is still in training but i'll put them up the top there we also have a merchant who's arrived at a very inopportune moment not mainly for us but for them mainly because they're going to so yeah, do you want to trade? Um, and then they'll turn around and see the hordes of Vikings running at us, and they'll probably go, hmm, maybe we should come back later when you're not as busy. <laughs> yeah, we've got a lot on at the moment, we must confess. Um, I've just bought a lot of tools there because, well, we need some. And there's us stacked at the front. Obviously we've got 
the oh we've got this as well that i forgot to put in so one two three we'll place that in and we'll place the ballista on top castle ballista tower no just out of the gold required and you can see it's actually fluctuating with the nori as they're turning on and off because of the uh, lack of gold there but it doesn't take long for us to get the right amount so the vikings have decided to come on the west hand side of this other island and they'll probably make their landing around here with the farmers and most likely they'll then grab a couple of farmers head on this road and just go this way and all the way around the outside like that because apparently that's what they like to do it uh, is what it is how we're we doing up here for building building's very nice and complete that's good you can see just waiting for the remainder of the building to take place here this is going to be a stone road going along and then right down to here and then this will almost certainly be defenses oh hang on that's bad that's what i thought may happen when i saw that not built i thought that might be an area where they can land and that's exactly what's happened it's initiated a landing there even though we've built over it hmm this is going to cause some issues well, we've got all the defenders here. Let's see what happens. So, there's the... Oh! Right, they're actually sieging. So they've got this catapult on the top. And they are sieging that castle block. And that is their way in. And they are in. Right. And they are smashing their way through the houses. So this is a new form of attack for them. I will... Oh, good grief. Lose, apparently, a fairly big house it's just fallen over and i'm going to run these guys back because obviously the vikings are attacking them and oh there's a lightning strike so that was the cathedral uh converting them i think yeah there's some more they're running past the cathedral cathedral does not agree with their choice of antics here so we'll just continue attacking see they are attacking in and around this area naturally they're going to run through here and i assume perhaps wrongly that they can they get back through the gate or not i'm really not too sure but we are doing our best to fight them i'm gonna pull these guys back because they are getting hit although to be fair, there's not much i can do about that more uh divine intervention there from the from that there and i think that's about it okay so we'll rebuild this and the question is do i want to rebuild that I think the answer is no. Demolish. And um, I'd go further and demolish that pier. Because that's... It's curious that that is the first time we've seen that event. Or that course of action from the Vikings. And it's when we did that. So I'm hoping that doing what we've done there will prevent that. If we see that same sort of action, we know that it's uh, it's just going to happen. So I'm not really too worried if it... Uh, if it happens again, then I'll put that defence back in. But as it stands, we'll probably leave it. Yeah. I'm happy to see that we did manage to stop them all, though. I'm going to tell those guys to recuperate. Because a lot of them are on very low health. There we go. But we do have another one. So they've recuperated. Those have recuperated. I think... The time has come to perhaps train some swordsmen. Yeah, we'll set that going. We'll set that going. We'll require some more people, obviously, but we'll see how we get on there. Whoa, minus 266 total change from last year. Wow. Okay. That's concerning. It's not as if I've turned off the workers there the farmers or anything they're right at the top so I wonder why it's a huge negative from last year it's not a tool problem we've got pork there so I don't know what the problem is we've got lots of fish Are they not? Yeah, there's no fish stored. 
What about these fish? Oh, not available for pickup. So it's all being processed, it's just strange that it's doing that. Okay, well we'll see how we get on. Dragon attack is going to occur in the next year, so we'll see about that. Let's have a quick check and we can see that, yes, we have now finished our research in the Great Library, so we can probably go ahead and add in some more cemeteries. I'm just going to use the standard cemetery, to be honest. Um, do I want to build it? Do I want to build it this large? Hmm, I think that's okay for now, mainly because we ran out of stone, so it'll have to do for now. And I think, well, we've got people idle, but what jobs are... Uh, castle jobs run zero, dock workers zero, event planners in military training. Right, so we just need more people to for the bakeries and stuff, but that'll ref not be reflected. And probably the food we grow as well. I'm just hoping that we are not in... I'm just hoping there's not some sort of unseen bias or negative that I can't work out. Because I mean, I'm minus 44, so adding in that, and maybe, maybe this road possibly has helped. And how much does that produce? There's dragon sighted. Two dragons this time. Stars up to 100 pork, and each one of these produces 24, 32, and 26. So, yeah, well, that's all. I think we only need the one. Or at least it stores two. I don't know how much it processes. Anyway, two dragons coming in. One large, one small. They are going to hopefully pass over here, which means we've got one, two, three, four possibly ballista towers to shoot at them all at the highest level of veterancy or oh, high that's only high skill because it's recently built but it's still good and when they come more towards the center they will be yeah that's probably a bad place for him to stand and they are heading towards the shore not nope, the turn back round, which is a big mistake and they're going to land right <laughs> right in the courtyard of the archers, if you look at that. <laughs> and thunk, there's some archer training for you. Where's the other one? Uh, they are setting fire to the houses, but they are also now dead. So that was relatively easy as well. Okay, not too bad at all. Not too bad. Over to our town and then to the manor, and we're going to place a manor house around here. Although, do I want to... I could delete a bit of the road, couldn't I? And move it around to fit in another manor house. That might be the way forward. Delete that. Actually, there's a section I didn't want to delete there, but cross there. And then do that. And it means that we have a space for a cottage at the back. Oh, there's some, there's some dragon being taken to market. That can go in there. We have... Oh, well's actually fine then. So these have access to a library. Where's the nearest library from them? It's over there, isn't it? Library. It will clip it. Oh, it doesn't... Oh, no, yeah, it does clip that. So we don't need another library in here. So I don't know what else we can put in the back here other than... An, uh, just other than a cottage. We'll place a cottage in, naturally. Um, There. And then in this section... Charcoal burn? No, maybe not. That will be all kinds of bad. Just a little garden. When in doubt, just fill up with gardens. Alright, good. Yeah, 131. My lord, 38 people visited, but only 28 found a satisfactory housing. And... Minus 44 total change last year for the harvest. But I'm hoping... But the rest of it will be stored here. It looks to be alright. At the end of the day, we can store a real... A huge amount, actually, I think. Can store a huge amount. Don't know the precise number, but with each of these... Each one can store 450. Okay, so yeah, we can store a lot. <laughs> um, minus 163 from last year. So we're just not producing enough food, it's just... Yeah, we're not. We're just not producing enough food. 
orchards maybe. I think more orchards are necessary. So chop all along here. We're just going to place loads more orchards up this area. Run it right up the top there. Charcoal is still good. Um, I think what we'll also do is having fields. Just run fields along here. They're not going to be as productive as the other ones. But it doesn't matter. Just having them in is enough. So we could stagger the orchards or place them opposite. Mm, that's probably the way we have to place them. So, Because this one requires irrigation. So I could run the Noria up and round and irrigate this land. Because it's uh, that's a way forward. But we'll see. I think with these three orchards plus this, we should. I, I would. I would really hope that that'd be enough. Really hope. Otherwise, I'd have to place a reservoir around here. Somewhere. And have all the orchards around there. The other option being that we look at. I was going to say look at this area to to build on it, but I don't think that's. Don't think that's the way forward. You see fish as well. We've got 230 food from pigs, but only 69 fish from the fishing industry. So... Oh, there's also a merchant by the look of it. Do we just need more traders? Oh, and we've also got more knights. Hang on. Let's place all these guys on the wall then. So there's our knights. So we've got... What was it? How many knights have we got? Three sets of knights. And three, uh, four arches. <laughs> that should be enough, hopefully. There's the harvest there for today. For this year. And we'll see what this merchant has to offer. Okay. Selling. Max that out. And we'll buy, as always, all the stone they have available. Not all, always, but what we are going to do here is buy... Buy all the fish and apples and stuff that they have. Oh no, I can't. That's very expensive. Let's let's not do that. Fine. Okay. We'll see what the harvest is going to be like here. We're on 821 beds with 797 population. Let's let's run a festival. Why not? Does that? Oh, all right. I'm going to say deactivate that one. Does it activate all of them on? On the map, but it does not, sadly. It does not. Plus 15 from recent festivals. Plus 7 for an excellent health. Hmm. And still on not a great amount of food. Okay. I think we are going to have to irrigate. What's the best way of doing it? Well, strangely... The best way of irrigating around here is to use a lot of piers. Because every single time we place road around here, it's going to obviously reduce the building space that we have. That's a question. Could we possibly increase... Could we build along here and then down that way and then get rid of that road and have all of that as growing area? We can. I don't know if we want to, <laughs> but we can. Hmm. Seems like a lot of effort for very little... Very little reward. If we were to have... A reservoir there, it would not get... I need to get around here. So the reservoir would... Be better around, like... This area. That's not going to happen. Could put a reservoir right there and have the road run around it. And then all of this is farmable. See, this isn't, it's too far away from the road anyway, so it wouldn't work. We'd have to bring the road around the outside. Probably best then to just run the aqueduct along here, straight up there, connect to a reservoir around here, and then just put another couple of orchards in. But it's on minus four change from last year. Uh, I'm not too concerned with that. Minus four. Yeah, we can we can handle that and 
to top up when we need to, can't we? I guess. But that does mean we can't really get many more people here. Hmm. We'll have to see about that one. So, what is the priority then, looking at this? Well, in terms of what we've built, we've got pretty much one of everything apart from the statues. Statues could be... I mean, do you want to place a statue? I like the idea of a statue around here. That would be nice. In the forest. Buried deep within the forest. We've got the dragon statue and we've got uh, Queen Barbara. Which uh, is... It gives you a positive boost by the look of it. Where would we put this statue? There would be nice, wouldn't it? But then we'd get rid of the fountain, sadly. And I like the idea of that. I like where that fountain is. Hmm. Where could we put a statue? I mean, could just delete one of these residences. Is that the same size? Yeah, it is. I think it there would be nice. I think it there would be even better. I could put it there and have two small fountains either side. Not convinced that's the way forward though. Just from a straight up statistical point of view, there would be one of the best places because it covers almost every house on the map. Um, that one does cover every house on the map. Sorry. <laughs> They're gone. Queen Barbara. She's overseeing. She's the gate guardian for that one. Alright. Excellent. So, we're building Queen Barbara and I think we will leave it there. Still have to keep an eye on the... Yeah, still going to have to keep an eye on the food situation. Also, I need more housing. So I should probably sort that out. Where's the best place for some more housing? Mm, I think we can fit one in. No, we've done that. See, deleting that one wasn't a big issue, but I need to place some housing somewhere now. I didn't particularly want to build more housing around here, but I think a manor house will go there. And then we can have gardens along here. That was going to be what I was going to do. Terrible plague has swept the land. One there. But we do have plague doctors. There's a library there, but we do have plague doctors close. Yep, they're all healed. Job done. Okay. Right, so we've built another manor house. That should be that sorted. So we're going to leave it there. Um... Overall, pretty happy, but I think the the food issues notwithstanding, I think the next priority is to potentially look at this island and get a outpost. That was going to be what I was going to be doing here, but with the food thing and continuing on building up there, I think what we've done is certainly the, the better course of action. I also might look at placing some more fisheries, because... It does say, be careful not to place too many fishing huts in one area and overfish. Well, there's still loads of fish around here. I don't think we're overfishing. So we'll have to see how we get on with that one. But overall, pretty happy with the progress that we've made. As I said, I think we'll uh, leave it there for now. We'll probably stop exporting loads of apples and food as well. I think we'll say, don't bring apples to that. Are we going to do the same for wheat? No, I think we can realistically say that actually we don't want to start either of those now. So yeah, leaving it there, next episode we'll take another look at the food situation, perhaps do some irrigation, maybe even and possibly, more probably, do the fishing huts, getting more fishing huts in, and then we'll look at some point in going over here, which gives us loads of access to stone and everything else, and then hopefully build some more defences around here. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this episode and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.